Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Garrett Harding and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to use the vortex effect inside of DaVinci Resolve Fusion. So without any further ado, make sure you've hit that subscribe button and that bell and let's jump into this video. This is the clip that we're going to be bringing into Fusion today. You know, the classic, hmm. So we're gonna grab this, we're gonna pop on over into Fusion, and then we're going to have our clips up so we can make sure that we have the correct one. We'll drag this down, we'll make sure we are on our clip here. We're gonna select our media in, whatever we're trying to twist is what we're going to select. And then we're gonna press Shift, Space, and this will pull up our select tool window that allows us to search for tools inside of Fusion. We're going to type in Vortex, and then we're going to press Add once Vortex is selected. You'll see it's already twisted me up. So what you're going to want to do at this point, depending on how you want to do this, is scale your size all the way back. And then, since we're at the beginning, the very beginning here, we're going to make sure that Vortex is selected, and we're going to keyframe all of these points. Just like that. Then we're going to move forward to part way through the hmm, probably a little less time than that we'll go about right there and then we'll increase that size back up to where it was and we can change the angle this will affect how drastically you're being twisted so you can see if we go all the way over there it's just a complete spiral complete washout can't see anything and as you go less it evens out and then you can even bring it the other way so if we do that, and then we take our center point here, drag that down a little bit so it's more on the face, increase that size, and then with the power slider, we can really go crazy. If we get down into the negatives, we can completely obliterate everything. If we bring that down to negative three, it's just spiral. So I like to leave that one generally about where it is. Try to play more with the angle slider because it gives more controllable results in my experience. So we have our size, which is going to affect the area, so the smaller that is, the tighter it can be in there, and the more it will affect, the larger it is. We can drag it around if we want to twist different things. We can also move that by mousing over the X and Y controls here. And then, if we pop on over into our settings, we can blend it, so if we want it to fade in or out, we can go ahead and do that with this slider right here. We can use Motion Blur. If you're going to keyframe movement in there, motion blur is generally a good idea. It just helps it to look a little bit better. And that's really it. It's very simple to do. It's a built-in tool right inside of DaVinci, but if you don't know it's there, then you can't use it. So take this knowledge, go forth, twist up things. That does it for this video, and I will see you next Thursday. 